inside of this box is a very, very nice, fairly expensive piece of machinery that we have been needing for the Evo 10 since we started making some pretty big power. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very, very, very exciting day. I am super, super stoked for what we have in store for today. There's only a few clutches that can handle a significant amount of power. This car makes seven, just a touch over 700 and right about 500 foot pounds of torque on E85. The Exedi Twin and the Exedi Triple clutches are known to be very, very good clutches for these cars. And with that being said, I am super excited to announce we have officially partnered up with Exedi for some of the builds on the channel. In this box, we have a lot of goodies. We have a very nice clutch, which I wanna show you guys here in a second. And they also sent out some pretty sick shirts as well. It looks like we got a XL which is my big boy size. What else we got? An XL and an XL. Beautiful. What's this? I believe we're gonna have to stick this in the ground at home by Bobby's Flowers. Pretty sure that's where that guy goes. Dope little plate frame. A whole pack of stickers. Oof. Oh, yes. This is gonna be a big, thick, giant banner to go along with all of the other banners that we have up in the shop. We'll have to get that guy hung up later after we move some cars around. I am not sure what's in this box. That is definitely gonna be the clutch. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. In this box, we got some more goodies. Stickers, a very, very nice lanyard. Ooh, a water bottle, pens, Looks like a little headband and something that I'd use for a gym bag. All right, now let's get to the most exciting part, which is the clutch. Like I said, guys, we've been needing this thing for a while. This clutch right here is Exidy's newest clutch for the Evo 10. This is a twin disc organic plate clutch. They do still have the other version, which is the Ceramitalic, which I think holds a little bit more power than the organic, but the organic is supposed to drive quite a bit better, be a more dailyable clutch versus the Ceramitalic clutch. The main goal and the main objective with the new clutch for the Evo 10 was to have a clutch that holds a ton of power, but still drives and feels like a stock clutch. Super excited to test out the new organic. I think it's gonna work wonders on our Evo 10. I would highly recommend watching the entire video before you go buy one of these clutches, just so you can see how it drives. But if you want this clutch, I'll link it down in the description box below over at MA Performance. This clutch is only 1400 $56, I believe is what the total amount is. So I'll have this exact clutch link down below and then all of the Exedi clutches that MAP offers, I'll also have linked down below. They have clutches for everything, ranging from single disc all the way up to triple disc, which handle like 800 foot pounds of torque, absolutely insane. And clutches for Evo 8s, 9s, 10s, STIs, FRSs, WRXs, 350Zs, probably anything in the world. Go check them out, link down below. Let's get this thing opened up. So this here is a complete assembly twin plate clutch with the flywheel as well. And they did include this here centering pin, which I'll show you guys what we're gonna do with this later on when we go to install the clutch on the car. This thing is gonna have to be pulled apart because we gotta bolt the flywheel down onto the crank first, and then we have to reassemble the clutch onto the flywheel. I have never done a multi-plate clutch install before, but from looking at it, it looks fairly simple. They have everything marked right there, exactly how it should line up, which is super handy. Like I said, I'm super freaking excited. I could not be more stoked to work with a clutch manufacturer, as you guys know, and as I know. Exidy makes and produces the nicest clutches that we'll ever need. Like literally every car in the shop could use like an Exidy twin or triple, pretty much all of them. 
If they make one for the FRS, that is. Whenever that car gets boosted. All right, I got my new shirt on. We're ready to work. Let's go ahead and throw this thing in. First thing we're gonna do is pull out all of these bolts right here. So these bolts hold the clutch cover onto the flywheel and it holds all the discs in between. So let's pop out these six bolts and we gotta get this flywheel mounted up onto the car. All right, so we got it pulled down. As you can see, we have one disc here, and then if we pull that up, there is the second disc. So that's all the parts and components for the clutch. Here are the bolts, and then this is the flywheel itself. So that is the first thing that we're gonna install is our nice old flywheel. All right, flywheel's on, all the hardware's on. These bolts from the flywheel to the crank go to 99 foot-pounds, and the way I hold it, unless you have another person to hold the crank, but you can just come over here and slap a little breaker bar on it and let her droop down to like the little control arm. Okay, so the flywheel's on. Everything is torqued down. As you guys saw, I always go in a crisscross pattern because you don't want to torque down one entire side. And then do that side, it might be a little bit janky. We're gonna move on to installing the clutch now. So we have, I took everything off in order. So it goes, the flywheel, first disc goes on and they are all marked. So as you can see, flywheel side and transmission side. So that guy's gonna go just like that. I am gonna wipe down the flywheel with brake cleaner. And then this guy's gonna go on and then I'll wipe down that with brake cleaner as well. Clutch is installed. All six of these bolts are going to go to 23 foot pounds. Hello. Sick. They're gonna to go to 23 foot pounds. Same concept as the flywheel, torqued down evenly and in a crisscross pattern. All right, my friends, the clutch is 100% installed. As you can see, all of the blue markings still line up, so that's what you wanted. I'm assuming it's because it was balanced like that, and that's how, you know, it's just how it, it's just how it is. I gotta do some prep on this transmission, so we're going to clean up the splines right here because these splines go through the center of the clutch, and now instead of one disc, there's two discs that they have to go through. So we're gonna clean up the splines, lube the splines up, throw out bearing will be replaced, and then all of the clutch particles from the old clutch, we need to clean out of there as well so it doesn't contaminate the new clutch.
we got it all back together. I put the clutch fork in wrong at first, but now she's in right. They sent in some lube as well with the clutch. So this lube I believe is going to be for the splines right here. So we're just gonna put a little bit on the splines, not so much to where it starts flinging off into the clutch itself, but just enough to where it will slide through the clutch discs. And as soon as we get that lube on, Trini goes back in the car. Tranny is back in the car, clutches in. From here, it's just a bunch of little odds and ends. We gotta connect the transfer case, get the axles back in. Subframe is dropped down a little bit for more clearance to the trans. So subframe back in and yeah, that's pretty much it. I am going to throw up while Jared's still here. By the way, what's up? What up? You haven't made an appearance on the channel in a, in a fat grip. Since I broke something. Yeah, true. You yeah. anything today? No, we're good. All Not right. yet. I cut my finger, but that's about it. Well, Jared's still here and have some help. I'm gonna throw up the Exeti banner on the wall and uh, get her mounted up. We also have the ETS banner as well. Should we throw that up too? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We're gonna slap them over there and it's gonna look sick. Ooh, that thing's sick. Is it? Th it's a thick boy too, huh? Oh, yeah. oh that's nice. Quality. Very quality. Very quality components. <laughs> the hell? Shelter in place lifted, what? We haven't been sheltering in place, what's going on here? Apparently I never got that notification to do it. We got it all mounted up, looking sick. We're gonna have to do the ETS one somewhere else because there's not enough space in that corner. I'm thinking over there, but the car's kind of in the way, so we can do that later. Let's get back to work, get this thing 100% back together, get some oil on it, and see how she drives. Oh, wow. That was, okay, you know, that fucking train was coming up in my head. Before we get too carried away getting stuff back on the car, it's pretty clear that the CV boot clamp right here was leaking a little bit. So let's go ahead and get that swapped out and then we can get this axle back on the car. All right, so all the motor mounts are on. We can go ahead and get this guy removed. I saw some questions and comments about this thing yesterday. It's very, very handy to have. Basically all it was doing for us this time around was holding the motor up because there was only one motor mount left. So this kind of acts as like a motor mount hanger. Very handy to have in the shop. If you want one, I'll link it down in the description box below. This is such a freaking messy job. As you can see, brand new shirt, unfortunately ruined, but thankfully I have a few extras. We already got our clutch fork engaged, so we should be good there. I do need to adjust our clutch master cylinder. It is an adjustable setup that we have on this car, so I'm gonna have to do some adjusting there because clearly our old clutch was destroyed. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing installed. Let's get that installed, shift your cables back on. We can pretty much wrap everything up, up top, and then get the car back up in the air and get everything else installed and fired up for the first time. I'm excited for this one, boys. All right, let's hit the pedal for the first time. Make sure it doesn't pop off that throw out bearing clip, the fork I'm talking, or the, I guess it'd be the throw out bearing off the clip. And I also wanna feel the clutch for the first time. I'm pretty sure this is gonna feel a lot better than the comp that we had in here. Oh, 
<laughs> it feels like a stock clutch. The pedal feels insane. It feels so nice. That, that feels much better. Of course it didn't help that the old clutch was completely destroyed, but I have something interesting to show you guys. When a clutch wears, the fork pushes further and further this way toward our slave. And this, so this little bracket right here, makes sure that our clutch throwout bearing never pops off that clip. So you want very minimal space between this head of the bolt and our fork. And we had it adjusted properly with our old clutch that was worn out and look how big of a gap there is with our new clutch. That is how worn our old clutch was. So we need to loosen up that lock nut, pull this guy all the way out. There's supposed to be a little bit of a gap. You don't want it completely touching or else you may risk a little bit of clutch slippage, which of course we don't want. But yeah, a little gap in there, maybe eighth inch. These guys are very, very useful as well, especially for the price of like $30. Now, of course, as the clutch wears, that fork will come closer and closer to the driver's side of the car. So you do have to be conscious of that and adjust that clutch fork stopper as it wears. I spaced showing you guys what we're running for fluids. Redline cocktail in the trans. I got this idea or the suggestion from one of you guys here. Instead of filling it through that side plug right there, if you pull this guy off the top of the tranny, which is right there, put it in a funnel, it goes much easier. And then you'll just fill it till it comes out of that side plug. Car's done, car's back together. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Well, it's not 100% back together. We still have like the skid plate, but I wanna pull this car somewhere and pressure wash the whole underside just cause some of that CV axle grease kinda just got everywhere. So I wanna get all that cleaned up. But I'm gonna get cleaned up. I'm freaking disgusting. Get some fresh clothes on and we can go drive the car. We gotta break this thing in. I think they wanted 500 miles Road test the vehicle and never abuse a newly fitted clutch. So that means no launches right out the gate. Don't do that. Allow 750 mile break in and adjust and always adjust free travel on your new clutch at 750 miles, 1500 miles, and then after that every 10,000 miles. Easy enough. I don't really drive this car a lot. So 10,000 miles will be like two years down the road, or like 10 years down the road. So yeah, 750 miles before we really let her eat. Um, we should be good. I'm gonna daily drive this thing probably, but yeah, let's go drive it. Enough talking. different guys it definitely makes noise which I'm not used to I know all twins and triples usually make some noise just a little, a little bit of like race car sounds is how I'd explain it first initial thoughts and reaction it feels like a stock clutch driving out of the shop it felt like a stock clutch stock pedal feel like not super super stiff like the old comp stage 3 was no shuddering, no weird vibrations, no nothing going on. I'm gonna go drive the car, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna pick up Bobby, and we're gonna go drive the car. Like I said, we gotta get 750 miles on this thing, so it's quite a bit of miles, and uh, we're gonna go get tacos. I'm gonna have Bobby drive the car because she didn't really wanna drive the car last, or previously, and if Bobby approves, we should be good to go. I honestly feel kind of spoiled right now. This clutch feels so good. 
never in, in the past have even driven or owned a twin or triple. It's crazy how close it feels to stock, but how much power I know these things can hold. Oh man, this is amazing. Why? Oh. What's going on in here? <laughs> I'm the laundry. I understand. In my underwear. Instead of going and making tacos in the kitchen, why don't we celebrate with my new fixed car and go get tacos? Seriously? What do you say? Yeah, we can do that. And, yeah. Is it a ripper? I got any clutch in there. I know. And she rips? I don't know. She doesn't slip? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? There's a such thing as called clutch breaking. Oh. Got to break it in. And you want to go somewhere? Yes, I have to get 750 miles on it tonight. Oh, good God. Tonight. Tonight, so we can do pulls tomorrow on E85, 700 wheel. All right, honey. We can do that. Can you get 750 miles on it in one night? No. No. Oh. Consensus obsessed with my car. Obsessed with your clutch and your car. Sick. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you're able to drive it now. Yes. But you're not allowed to steal this one. Why? This is my baby. Honey. The only cars you can steal are the M3 and the FRS. But I steal the truck all the time. And also, 
I'm pretty sure I drove this back from somewhere really far, so I'm allowed. I understand. Anything else? I just really want some tacos. All right, we're gonna get tacos real quick and then we might go cruise more. Okay. All right, overall consensus, we put about 60, I think it was 63 miles on the car last night. I drove it quite a bit, Bobby drove it quite a bit. So far, the clutch has been absolutely amazing. Not a single complaint with it. She's definitely gonna take some getting used to because it's quite a bit different than the clutch that we used to run in the car. I do need to adjust the actual height or like the, I guess you just adjust the master cylinder because there should be a little bit more free play in there, I feel. So I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. It feels good, no shuddering yet. Obviously we haven't done any holes with the car you gotta wait a couple hundred miles for that so when we get around to that i'm excited to see how it's gonna handle the power how it feels during shifting see if we have any weird lockout issues um yeah overall just really really excited once again if you guys want this exact clutch this is the organic disc clutch the newest clutch that they came out with for the evo 10s so not the old or the older sarah metallic twin but the new organic twin so far, freaking love it. Could not be more pumped to get this car back on the road and actually start enjoying and driving this thing. Huge shout out to Exidy for being willing to work with us and sponsor the channel. I cannot be more stoked to work with them as a clutch manufacturer. Thank you guys for watching this video. Peace out my friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow.